This is photo paper and today I'm going to be printing a photo. So what I thought today, I thought I'd print a black and white photo, which is like a one I shot from Lebanon. I really, really, really like it. And I'm going to print it on this velvet, velvet fine art paper from Epson. And for those of you that don't know, my printer is an Epson Pro 900. And when printing on this kind of paper, because it's kind of thicker, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of important to set, use the manual feed rather than the back feed they usually use because it, it is thicker and they recommend using it this way. So that's kind of important. The second thing to remember on your printer to set up before going to Lightroom is to select on the printer which paper you're using inside the printer settings. The rest you do it through Lightroom and I'm gonna use the Lightroom print module which is really, really easy by the way. It's really not really hard to get. So I'm gonna go step by step with this is considering you entered the, you 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 edited your image it's ready to print i'm going to go step by step how to get the settings through lightroom to make sure your print and your printer talk together really well and the print comes out really really nice let's go okay so now i'm recording my screen so first thing i do is i've loaded some of the settings already now i have the image here now assuming that you already have the image that you like you already did all your edits you're ready to print I mean the editing is really up to you it's what kind of style you have first thing like sometimes you have your settings saved from before so I usually go to page setup and I make sure my printer is selected I select the paper that I selected super a3 uh, 13 by 19 sheet and it's set to be like horizontal or vertical or horizontal I'm gonna keep it on vertical I'm gonna click OK I'm gonna go to print settings here that's another thing to check and I'm gonna also make sure my printer is selected and I'm gonna go down to printer settings and here I'm gonna select manual feed like I selected make sure that's always set. I'm gonna select a velvet fine art paper and I'm gonna select matte black because it's I think it's like a matte paper so I'm gonna select super photo 2880 dpi and I'm gonna keep the 16-bit output selected you know because it's a 16-bit file so I just want to I can print in that I'm gonna that one is always selected I'm gonna deselect high speed if it's selected because you know usually that's kind of makes it uh, reduce quality so I'm, I'm gonna deselect that I'm gonna select finest detail and I'm gonna make sure color management is off here in the basic advanced color settings usually it's off because I selected the media of the on the in Lightroom I selected the media of the what kind of paper and I'm gonna match it on the printer in your printer you have a section where you tell the printer what paper it is so you have to make sure that the two match so that's it I'm gonna click Save now I'm gonna go to the right here it says rotate to fit that's fine I'm, I'm looking at the image in my window and you can set your margin if you want to offset it I keep this the same here you have the cell size where you can just play with the image size so you don't have to set your image size you just kind of slide these around so if it's a 13 by 19 usually I have the visual of how much I want on my frame so when I'm satisfied with the visual I can move these around and just you know pick something that I like and when I'm satisfied with it I'm just you know I'm just happy don't worry about these lines here because they're just you know they're kind of like if you you know if you want to go over certain amount you have to kind of go like bigger here you know but see it won't go over 13 it won't let you so the the minute you stretch this you can stretch this you know but let's say your limit is uh, 10 inches then you can go further than 18 see like how it doesn't let the image grow bigger because it has to be proportional even though the lines go bigger it doesn't really mean anything so if you're if you go let's say to 12 so you can't even go to 12 you're restricted to that so like I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do like something like like this 10 if I go this bigger see because they kind of relate together so when you go to let's say 16 let's go 15 on one end okay and I'm like this is just trial and error usually I just kind of play around with these till I'm satisfied and I'm gonna go here we go 10 but okay 
like usually I look at the visual and if I'm satisfied with it, I'm satisfied. So I like this size. It's uh, that's really no issue here as long as you don't go bigger than the than the thing. Now it's just how you want how much of a white border you want around your picture. So the next thing I'm gonna go down to is everything else is fine. You can just show guides here. Usually these are fine. I'm gonna go to print to printer. Okay. I'm gonna print resolution 300 pixels per inch. That's usually always what I print at. You can go lower, it depends. But for that size, you know, 300 pixels per inch is good. Um, I'm gonna do print sharpening standard or low. I'm gonna keep it at standard. Print meter type matte, 16 input output. I'm gonna select here. Here also you have to select the, in the this window, you have to select the paper that you have. So I'm gonna go to velvet fine art paper matte matte black and i'm gonna keep this on perceptual so that's that's kind of it for for my printing next thing you know i'm just gonna click printer here just make sure yeah that's okay and i'm gonna click print and what's gonna happen it's gonna shoot it off to the printer so now for the fun begins let's watch the printing see how it goes Here we go, nice print, look at that. So beautiful. Just gonna come up close and back up. That's amazing. Okay, two things though that I made a mistake. I just wanted to share with you guys. When I was setting, when I was, there's like a, one section in Lightroom where you can add your borders. So my borders are not even, if you can see I got here, it's bigger than here. And for that, because one of them was at 0 0.56 and the other one was at 0 0.13. So I missed that detail. So make sure that your white borders are even number at the left, at the bottom and the top and the left and right. So if you're positioned like this, top and bottom, left and right. Well, depending which size, because I get confused. Also, one more thing I learned the hard way is because I don't print that much. So sometimes when you print, don't print that much, this nice print will look like this and why is that there's colors missing and it's blue instead of black and white it's because some of my um, some of my heads got clogged so it's really important to clean your your printer often and use it more often i'm not using it that much so that's what kind of happened today that i had to do like a half an hour cleaning to get my to get my head clean all my nozzles unclogged you know, and make sure your head, your print has always aligned. You can do a test for that, for that. Check your, also your manual for cleaning your, your nozzles regularly and aligning your head to make sure your print come out really, really nice too. So there you don't, they come out like this instead of like this. Big difference from this to this. All right, guys. Thank you. See you next time. And if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel or hit the like button or comment any of the above. I'm really, really happy. Bye, guys. Oh, boy. That's what happens when you don't print in a while. <laughs>